Hello, welcome to the start of this pubs redo video around Grimsby and Cleethorpes. I'm currently sat in the Yarbrough Hotel having a pint before I start this video. And um, I know this isn't one of the earlier ones, but the earliest one that I found on my research is the White Art. But there is another one for Pie Wipe Inn, okay, which used to be cottages. I can't remember which way around, pub first or cottages later. But yeah, so that's possibly the first one on the White Art. I don't know. Okay, so um, let's go on with the video, and I, I uh, apologise for repeating myself on some of this. Okay, so cheers, and on with the video. Today I'm starting off on Bargate. As you the reason we've come here is this because this is one of the first pubs that you'd see coming into Grimsby from that direction, from Nun's Corner. And it's actually the Wheat Sheaf. Okay, so I'm standing on the side where it originally was, in this area here. Okay, where the... Uh, Bus, uh, bus stop is there. It's an aisle down Briggergate now and we're coming up to the next pub which is this one. This one's called The County. Okay and this has been here a long time as well. So this is the second pub on our route as we're going along today. So uh, let's have a look at the next one. Down the corner at Wellergate now we're coming up to another pub this one here. This is said to be uh, the, one of the eldest who I see looking at the white art. Okay so that's another pub we've come to. There we go, a few more to go yet, <laughs> but where? this is the white art, so let's move on. Okay, that just there was inside the back of the white art, which I've just filmed. Hopefully I got that. <laughs> but yeah, coming up to a really big pub now, if we all know this one. I'll be all right, it's an hotel, but it's still a pub, the Arbor Hotel, so there that one is. Okay, let's move around again. Okay, so this one I'm walking past now, is the Arbor Vaults. And this has been here a while as well. I've done a video on this. Like stables at the back of it, yep. So this is the Arbor Vaults that we're walking past now. Okay. Street. And down this street, roughly where I am now, maybe it was a bit further down, in this area, it's obviously long gone and demolished, was the Mason's Arms. Okay. And all's left is this old building here. So uh, let's move on to the next location of a pub. Walking down Victoria Street South. Okay, and we're coming up to another one. This one, the Open Anchor. Now, this is said to be one of the oldest pubs as well. There's a many, there's many a claim to that round uh, Grimsby, I believe, but I'm trying to find that out. So if I do, I will put it on this video. So let's go on to the next one. Now walking up Queen Street. And this is the Duke of Wellington. Okay. Now walking down Victoria Street South. We come to this one. Now this used to be the Royal Oak. We're walking past now, as you can see. Also near to the, the Royal Oak we've just been walking past was another pub called the Golden Fleece. Yeah, there's loads down this street, absolutely loads. I'm coming up to another one now. And this one was on the corner of Grime Street and obviously Victoria Street South. Okay, and this one was the Nelson Tavern, which roughly, when I get across here, was in this area where I'm stood now, where that wall is there. Corner of Grime Street, yeah. In this area here. Crikey. So there's another one for you. Moved a bit further now down Victoria Street South, and in this area here, okay, it's overgrown and there's Tesco's through there. Yes, there was yet another pub called the Rose and Crown. Okay, so now walking down Victoria Street North. Okay, and just where I am now, there's another pub called The Fountain. In this area, okay, what they built all that retail park on, so somewhere in there, that's where it was. I'm across the road from the flour mills up there, okay. On Victoria Street North now, and there's another one down here, roughly in this area where the milk factory is, or was, it's called the Leeds Arms, another one, okay. And also further up, walking towards Lock Hill, there's another pub called the Blue Bell, and that's just past there, Gressy Street, which is over in that direction there. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. There's another pub on there again, Victoria Street North, a bit further up now, nearly at the end of the, uh, the street, well, round about this area, okay. And this one was called the Mariner's Tavern. Okay, so I'm now stood on the corner of Ryby Square, and behind me here, this is where the Lincoln Arms was, on this corner here, okay. Now, obviously, they got knocked down because they wanted to make this road behind me wider. So, but this is it, this is where it was in this area here, okay. A little bit further down now, just a little bit away from Ryby Square, down this area here. 
Okay, I don't know which one of these it is or was. Was the Sheffield Arms. Okay, so I'm now currently on Bridge Street North and we're coming up to another pub, this one here. This is the Albion. Okay. Nobody's seen that on there before. As you can see, it's a bit dilapidated, but still there. I'll walk around the front. There we go. I'll put the camera up there, see if we can see in it. I don't know what the camera's looking at, but yeah, why not? Move it onto that one, okay? There we go. Yeah, it's listed this on the map. I have 1888 as the Albion Hotel. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I'm right at the top now of Freeman Street, and over there, that's Cotty's. Yeah, it's another famous one. I don't know how long that's been there, but yeah, there's Cotty's. So uh, that's another one. Let's move on. Okay, so I'm now on Freeman Street, and this one here, this is the corporation. Okay, so we're coming up to another pub that's still here. And that one is the Angel, called the Wellington. And as you can see, that's where uh, in 1878 Grimsby Town was uh, founded, I believe. Okay, so there's one pub down here called the Wine Pipe, but the thing is, it's okay, it's there, but the original one is in the marketplace in Grimsby, which I'll show you later on on this video. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I'm now back on Silver Street because there was another pub down here. Okay, and it was called the Crown and Anchor, and it was also on this street, probably further down towards uh, towards Clayton there, uh, that way on. Yeah, towards Clayton Street, so. Yeah, somewhere out there buried under the old Freshney place. So, uh, okay, let's move on. Okay, so we're coming up to the location of the uh, the Queen's Head, which is roughly where the uh, that shop is there, okay? And across the way from that, where the Lloyds is, over there, the Lloyds Arms, I'm going to mention that one, was a pub called the Greyhound. Now, that may have been the Greyhound, as if you look, it's quite old anyway, so it might have changed its name, possibly. But that was in that area, so it could have been. Okay, we're now walking up to another pub location. This one's called the King's Head. And this is on the corner here. Obviously, there's been many things. It was Lee's, Lee's not back when, and so many other things. But yeah, this is where the King's Head was, in this area here. Okay, so I'm now walking down Albion Street. Okay, and there was four pubs down here, four of them. Obviously, in the distance over there, there's the smokers. Okay, and the ones that aren't here, obviously not no more, are the Globe Inn, the Brocklesby Hunt, the Robin Hood Hotel and the Struggler's Arms. So there's quite a few down this street. Five all together in one street. Yeah, that's Albion Street. So, uh, okay, let's move on. Walking down Kent Street. Kent Street. Okay, and there was four pubs down here. There was a Havelock Hotel, the Honest Lawyer, the Six Bells and the Kent Arms. Now that building's still standing. Okay, which is up that way there. I think it's now, um, centre for something or other I'm not entirely sure but yeah there's four pubs down this street and there and that's them so let's move on to the next a bit further down Kent Street now I'll just show you this was the last pub that was here the Kent Arms and you see the post there obviously it's what I sign on it okay there we go okay so we're now on Church Street okay and on this street there was three pubs one called the Shades Inn the one called the Crown and Buckle, and one called the Foundry. Okay, so I'm now stood on the corner of Church Street and Freeman Street, and behind me, where this building is now, this used to be where the Prince of Wales was, so there's another one. Okay, so now walking up to another pub, which is uh, behind me there, called the Umber on Umber Street off uh, Cleeport Road. And there it is. Obviously, it's part of uh, a Hewitt's Brewery one, yeah. Well, there it is, across there. Building's still standing. Okay, so I'm now still on the corner of Orwell Street and behind me where this wall was, this is where the, the Lord Raglan stood. Now I got the information of one of my kind subscribers and thank you for that. Really good. So yeah, that's where this one stood. I'll just... Okay, so I'm now walking down Vesiger Street and there was two pubs down here. One called the Prince Alfred and the other one called the Star and Garter. So they could have been on this side because that's where the church was there. Or it could have been anywhere in that area over there. I don't know the exact locations. Okay, let's move on. So I'm now down King Edward Street North. Okay. So over there, that one is called the Oberon. And there was five other pubs down this street. The Billet Inn, the Cross Keys, the Royal Marine, the Talbot Inn and the New Inn. Still sitting in the same place. <laughs> 
looking over the Cleefort Road. Now, I've located two more pubs, OK? They're both on this King Street, which was over in that direction. Roughly where I'm stood now, near enough. OK, and they was called the Jolly Sailor and the Packet Tavern, and it was both on King Street, which is very near to where the railway was back then. Obviously, it's all changed somewhere in that direction. That's where they were. Okay, let's move on. So I'm now on Freeman Street now. I've come to a location of another pub called the Lincoln Wrestler. And it was 51 Freeman Street. So that one over there is 49, 50. So it's just in this area here. Just here, I would think. Yeah, so this is where that was stood. Okay, so let's move on to the next pub location. Okay, still on Freeman Street now. Coming up to another pub, which has been closed for a while. This one, the white bear, still here but closed. Okay, so let's move on. So now coming up to the next pub location down Freeman Street, which is there. And that one was called the Royal George. Obviously, it's got the old windows at the top there, but yeah, well that one was, that was the location of the Royal George. So okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, that used to be called the Buffalo Arms, and later, the one I can't say is, is spelled B-U-C-C-L-E-U-C-H Arms. And the, it was a hotel as well. So yeah, in there, you see the old windows at the top, but that's where that was located. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so I'm now stood on Central Market, what used to be in that area over there. And there used to be a clock in the middle and lots of shops and pubs and hotels. Right, so what we've come down here for is the Annals Beat Arms. Okay, that was there. And then it changed to the Chapman's Hotel and also I think it changed its name to the Sir Walter Rally from what I've read. So it was basically this, this pub had three names during its time. And it was in that area over there. OK, so let's move on. OK, so I'm now walking up to Victoria Street North. And when I turn the camera around over there, there, that is the Palace Buffet, which the building is still standing, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so that's where that is, the Palace Buffet. So let's, let's move on to the next pub location. OK, so I'm now stood on Albert Street and possibly the corner of Bridge Street South where there was a pub called the Mariner's Compass. So that's probably where this is, or where I am now anyway. It carried on, Bridge Street South carried on straight through there to, and came out on Garibaldi Street. OK, so OK, now back onto Albert Street. There were three pubs down here. Don't know the exact locations, but I'm on the street. OK, so you've got the Fireman's Arms, the Foresters Inn, and the Colchester Arms, okay, all on this street. Now, bearing in mind, this street runs straight down there and straight over the other side as well. Okay, so I'm now still on Nelson Street, and behind me here, this used to be a bank, okay. Well, okay, it has nothing to do with pubs. So, across the road there, where it says that Penny Wise Bed thingy, that's where the Red Lion used to stand. Okay, and also down this street, there was the Bricklayer's Arms, the Black Bull and the Eagle Tavern. Okay, so I'm on Freeman Street again, and I found another pub, which is right behind me where this shop is here, Wilco, and it was called the Dogger Bank. Okay, so I'm also on Home Street. Okay, and down here, there was a, another pub called the Railway Tavern. I'll just turn the camera around. Okay, this is Home Street, and there's a pub on here, like I said, called the Railway Tavern. And this stretches all the way down that way there. So I'm also on Victoria Street, and in that corner where the camera's facing now, was the Black Swan, locally known as the Mucky Duck. Okay, so that's where that stood in there. So let's move on. So also, I was just pointing the camera there, down Flottergate was the Ship Hotel. Okay, and down that way, Old Marketplace, was the Wine Pipe, which was demolished in 1971. Okay, so there's quite a few pubs down here. Okay, so this one is the Tivoli, formerly known as the Globe, and this is on old marketplace there and this one's still standing which is fairly great okay on we go okay so i'm now walking down bethlehem street and down here i know there's a few pubs down here obviously the arbor hotel and the arbor vault so there's another one called the coach house now i don't exactly know the position of that one and this is where i am bethlehem street okay so let's move on to the next Okay, so I'm now stood on Upper Burgess Street, okay? As you can see, the sign is down there. Now this carried on straight through there, straight through the police station, obviously, and led straight into Lower Burgess Street. Okay, which we're gonna go down there 
and come to roughly where it all came out and then uh, we'll tell you about the pubs that was down there so let's move on so i'm now walking down victoria street south and there was three more uh, pubs down here and hotels should i say three or three more one hotel and two pubs yeah so it's the brigham's hotel the carrier's arms now that was on the original street which is called loft street obviously later victoria street that was there 18 8, 1841 to 1842 and also down here was the Pelham Arms as well. So I'm now walking down Victoria Street North and there's two more pubs down here called the Molsham Tavern and the Empire. Okay so I've moved down a bit now just come off King Edward Street in that direction there. Now I'm roughly where Burgess Street was this might have been part of it where I'm stood here okay because it aligns up really good with Upper Burgess Street. Okay, so the pubs that was down here was the Duke of York, the Britannia, the Navigation Hotel and the Grant Arms. Down Freeman Street and behind me, just behind these shutters here, under there, there was another pub and it was called the Crown and Anchor and it stood roughly just there. Okay, you've got boots next door to it, but this is where it was. Okay, still on Freeman Street now, just come uh, basically well, to the side of it anyway. And uh, in this area there, where it's all been knocked down, was the White Knight. Okay, so over there's the corner on Elson Street, and obviously I'm still on Railway Street, and that where I'm pointing the camera is exactly where the locomotive pub was. Right on that corner where the sign is. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm now sit outside the Market Hotel, which was a Hewitt's brewery. As you can see up there, it's got the HB on it. Okay, that used to be the market hotel there. And if I quickly whiz this round, that is where the sign was up there. I'll pull out. There you go. And that's still here, look. Okay, so now down Little Fur Lane, we've come to another pub. Again, this one is the Cricketers. Okay. Okay, so we've now come to the next pub on our route, and it's. We go, the Troll. There's a sign up there, and there's the pub itself through there. Obviously this is on two till, but yeah, there it is, the troll. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm now on Leash Bakers now, and I'll turn this around. There was a pub over there called the Gunner's Watch. And that's where that was, it's now what it says up there it is, I'll zoom in. Okay, there it is, that was the Gunner's Watch. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm now on Bradley Crossroads and we'll come up to this. This one is the Bradley Inn. This has been here a long time. I remember that building there, that used to be the bear off. The white bricked one, yeah. So that's still there, the Bradley Hall. Oh, and there used to be an horse where them cars are over there. Okay, let's go. Right, there it is, the Nunsfork Tavern, just there. On Sutcliffe Avenue, let's go. Okay, so I'm now down Norwich Avenue on the Grange. Okay, now this, over there, is where the oak tree used to be. Obviously now it's been demolished. Okay. Okay, so we're coming up to this one now. This used to be called the Exchange. It's now got a new name. Yeah, the a the Avon Arms. Okay, but yeah, that used to be the Exchange just there. Obviously back in the 80s and that. Okay, let's move on to the next. That sign is there, and where that is, there, that Devonshire House, that is where the Grand Bean was. Obviously, it's been built over and buried under there. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Okay, so I'm now stood where the Clee Park Hotel was, okay? And uh, basically, so that way over there, that's Cleefort Road, and down there, Grimsley Road, and over there at the side of Errand is Park Street, okay? So I'm stood in where it was, like I say, I'm gonna turn this round, back of it, so all this area here, where I'm stood, obviously, yes, it did become a car park, and it was tall as that building there roughly, or higher. There was a massive tower in there. Okay, so this is where the Clee Park Hotel was. Let's move on. Okay, so I've now cut to the Imperial Hotel, which has now been changed and altered into flats. Okay, let's go around the side of this. There we go. This here was the main entrance just there, what we're coming past now. And like I said, it's been turned into flats. I don't know if the looks are not, if you look up there. This place has been here some years. It's on Brundle Avenue, corner of uh, Grimsby Road. Near that place. 
Okay, so there's the Imperial. Let's just go a bit further around. The building's still here, obviously, but it's been turned into flats and things. So, okay, let's move on. I'm just going to turn around this side. Hey, behind that wall in there, once upon a time, there's all flats in there now. Was the leaking boot or dallies as it was called later on? Okay, and it was all in there. So I'm going to go walk around the front, and I'll show you around there what's replaced it. So it's quite a big area, this, and it was quite a big pub back in the day. What it was, it got burnt down. Somebody, uh, well, it was arson, burnt it down, yeah, a while ago. So okay, and then they built all this on it. So let's move on around the corner. It's very, very long, really big. So I'm keeping it down there. Let's see people living there. Let's come up here. In there now, or in there, is a doctor's. Okay, but this was all Dali's. All of it. And I'll show you where it actually ended. I'm still walking down. See, I've seen it for a doctor's in there now. But it ended here. Where this wall is there, that is where it ended. Straight all in there. Like I say, there's a doctor's in there now where it once was. And the flat's up there. So, okay, let's move on. Okay, I'm just coming up to the top of Isaac Hill now. We're walking up a bit, a little bit further, and we're going to show you where the cross keys was. Okay, there's two on this bit, so it was in there where this fountain is. Yep, car park. See, I always change things into car parks, don't they? So it was on here. <laughs> it's just here. Okay, let's move on. Cross keys. Okay, so I'm now walking down Cross Street towards where another pub was. It's called the Leeds Arms. Okay, and previous to that, been on this corner where Boys is now, and obviously it was Woolworths as well. So there's a pub there called the Crown and Anchor, and it was there until 1836. Okay, so I'm just going to show you now when I walk up here where the Leeds Arms stood. So it's okay, so basically coming up to the corner now. Okay, so it was on this corner here. Okay. You can see where that is over there, that's where it was, right on this corner. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I'm now walking up to O'Neill's, which is on the corner of Grant Street and Alexandra Road. And there it is. It's a very old building. And that's O'Neill's. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I'm now walking down Station Road. Okay, because Cleeport Station is just a uh, in front of where the old station is but now this here this is called the number one okay zoom in on there yep yeah, this is called the number one okay so across the road there is the dolphin hotel okay and it's a pub as well it's been a lot of things you can see it's a, a nightclub now but yeah that is the dolphin hotel over there Zooming on where there it was the original front door. This being on and come out of there as well. There it is. Sorry that bit. This being on and it came over the path there and you saw things outside it. But yeah, that is the dolphin. So let's move on. Okay, so I'm now walking up to where the lifeboat hotel was. Okay, and it is was where these block of flats are on the corner of Queen's Parade. This is exactly where it was, all along here. Okay, it obviously went a bit round the corner there. But there, that's where it was. Okay, so I'm now stood at the top of Sea View Street. I'm walking up to another pub. It's been here a long time. One. The Nottingham or the Knots. Okay, and it's still here. It's really good to walk past. Here we go, that's the Nottingham. Okay, so I'll just come off Sea View Street a minute, and now on Waldorf Street. We've we'll come to this other pub here, which isn't on any of the old maps, but it's now called the Fisherman's Arms, okay? So yeah, I don't know what this might have been, but this is called the Fisherman's Arms. I was called a few things as well. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm now at the top of Sea View Street, and if I turn this round, there is the Queen's Hotel. Obviously, it's now called something else, but yeah, that's the Queen's Hotel up there. Right on the corner. I'll zoom out. There you go. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so now walking down Grant Street, we'll come to another. Quite a few remember that one back in aid. The Swashbuckle Tavern. 
Okay, I don't know how old it is. I'm not seeing any old maps, but uh, yeah, there you go. The Swash, as it's known as. Okay, so I'm walking down Victor Street now. I'm coming up to the traffic lights. And on this corner, Victor Street and Cleefort Road, was another pub called the White Swan. So I'm going to turn the camera around. And it was here, on this corner. Right where I am now. Okay, I'll pull out and see where I am. It was on this corner here where these flats are now, the White Swan. So let's move on. Okay, so I'm now stood on the corner of Napton Street and Grimsby Road. Okay, here's another pub called the Saracen's Head. This is where this was on this corner here. Okay, obviously something else now. I'd imagine the entrance would have been there, looking at that old piece of wood, look, the wooden timbers up there. Okay, so this was the location of the Saracen's Head. Let's move on. Okay, so I'm now still on Railway Street and behind me there, where that tree is, there used to be an hotel called the Victoria Hotel. I'm just saying, yeah, so it was in this area here. Looking from the bank on the corner there into here, this is where it was, the Victoria Hotel, in this area. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I'm now stood on the corner of Cleefort Road, which is behind me there, where the flyover is, and Railway Street. And behind me, I'm going to turn the camera around in a minute, this is where the Railway Hotel stood, right on this corner here. Okay, so I'm now walking down any Road, and I'm now going to show you where the rope walk used to be, which is in there. They walked past. Okay, it was all in there. Why the shot? Yeah, it was all in there. Okay, so that's where it was, the rope walk. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm now stood on Corporation Road, okay, which is out there. Now, the reason I've come here is because this is where another pub was called the Corporation Arms, and it was roughly behind me where that wall is, or where I am on this grassy area. Okay, so. Uh, Let's go and have a look at another one. Okay, so I've just come off Corporation Road and I'm now on this street, okay? Now I'll come over here, because yes, another pub, and this one is called the West Marsh Club, okay? And it's still uh, been there a long time. It's still got its pillars and everything, but yeah, that is the West Marsh Club. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm now stood on Lock Hill Cleefort Road, okay? Now there was three pubs down here, and I don't know his exact location, but I would imagine it was knocked down when this was built. Okay, and they are the London Tavern, the Fisherman's Arms, and the Yarbrough Tavern. So like I say, they're probably buried somewhere under there. All right, let's move on. Another pub in this area, in fact, there were several, and this one was called the Barrel, okay? Because it had a big barrel outside, and it was somewhere in this area here, obviously, before this was built. Yeah, it does say it's on Cleefort Road as well. So somewhere over that direction or around here somewhere, not entirely sure. Still on Cleefort Road, still next to the flyover. Now where I'm stood now, this is in between that assessment place there, the old telegraph office just there. Okay, now there's a pub here and I don't know what it's called. It's definitely on this side and somewhere where I'm stood, if you can see behind me. Yeah, it's here, but I don't know its name, so if anyone does, Please let me know in the comments below. This is Cleefort Road, I'll say again, near this, and that's behind me there, or oh, next to the, uh, the Napier Works. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, so I'm standing under the flyover. Okay, and across there is the customs house. Okay, and just in this area here, this is where the Royal Hotel was in this area. Okay, and across the road is the Albert Memorial Gardens, the statue which is now over there outside the dock offices, yeah, so this is where the Royal stood, right in this area here, and they built this, so yeah, okay, this is where that one was, so let's move on. Okay, so I'm currently walking down Cleefort Road, now I tried to find this one and I couldn't find it, the Clee Hotel, now, I've looked on many a maps, lots of searches, but I don't know whereabouts it was stood, so I'm now stood on Grimsby Road, and behind me is the Brundle Park Hotel, Okay, another pub. There we go. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I've come here from this pub behind me here. Obviously, it used to be, it shows I had it previously or later. <laughs> I don't know, now it's a foundry, but it was originally the Victoria Hotel. Okay, let's go back around the front. As you can see it there, we'll go all the way around here. 
yeah, Victoria Hotel. I know I called it O'Neill's before, but just did a bit of more research. So yeah, here you go. Victoria Hotel. Okay, let's move on. We're now going down to the front. I'm on C Road. Okay, so behind me, which used to be through there, was a well-known pub and a well-known place still drinking on a Saturday night, Friday. In there, I'll put the camera over the top, it used to be the sub, later waves, I believe. But it's all been demolished, as you can probably see. I can't see over the top of this, but yeah, the, it's gonna be some sort of um, entertainment place, complex, that type of thing, I think. I think there's a thing around the corner, which I'll show you what it's probably gonna be. So, okay, let's move around. Various pictures on there, telling you what it's possibly going to be. I'll come around this side. There you go. Skating park, cultural community hub, cafes, that type of thing. And overnight stay beach huts. Yeah, hope you hope it's warm weather. Okay, so I've just moved around the corner. I found a better gap. So yeah, look, you can see what's in there now. See the curb stones there, because that's where this road used to come up to. See the old curb stones down there, look. Wow. Really good, but you can see nothing much has happened. And this one is the longship corner of Acroft and Macaulay. So I'll turn this around. Yeah, it's right on the corner there. I remember this one myself. That actually looks the same building to be honest, but yeah, it is the same shape and that. So obviously that <laughs> never knocked it down. Okay, so where it was, that was the long ship on there. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm walking up to another pub now. This is one of the uh, ones along um, Grimsby Road there, well just off, and it's called this. The Rutland Arms, which you're gonna walk past now. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, so we're walking up to it now, as you can see. I started doing some refurb. Now, I believe this used to be a mill of some sort. I can't say for sure, so I haven't looked it up. But yeah, this is the Rutland Arms just there. Okay, let's widen this shot. There you go, we'll carry on past. There you go, there is the Rutland Arms. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I'm still sat here in the Yarbor Hotel and I hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for watching to all my new subs and all my viewers. And on that note, I'll see you all next time on the next video and happy new year to you all. Cheers.